talked about yesterday how their muffler is falling apart. Um, your exhaust manifold is actually missing a bolt. I thought it was important to do this video because I know I put about content doing all of these fun things and going off to all these fun places. The time off and adventures that I do go on are literally what's keeping me sane. Yay more storage and also yay for the smell of cedar. It's gonna be freaking awesome. Like this. And it has been a fun emotional support project and something that I put on when I feel sad or down and it cheers me up. <sighs> new day, new hair color, new location, more van build. I'm gonna put up a shelf. Up there. My pumpkins don't have to live in the sink. All my tools are not here. Come your elbow. So if I'm using the saw in ways that are not using my rotator cuff this way, strengthening is good. He's caught. The back end is a little bit more hard. Mm -hmm. You want to try that one? I would love to get a flight. Yeah, okay. Of those six. Thank you. No problem. Oh, I'm very excited. Oh, yeah. That beautiful, beautiful copper still. Oh, it's so pretty. Well, it's got limited capability, so I can't check for misfires. However, there was a code stored for a number four cylinder misfire. So I took your engine cover off, because it's actually super easy to do, and the number four uh, ignition coil was broken off. Oh. And it's flopping around in there. So I put a new spark plug and a new ignition coil on the number four cylinder. Yeah. I would recommend changing, the obviously, the other seven spark plugs. Yes. Um, except that it's Things, if it was just changing spark plugs, then we would just do it. But things can go wrong with those engines. So I don't think we should get into that, given that you're leaving town soon. Yeah. Um, and I brought your your truck back in, and I just re-welded up the exhaust. Great. You know, I just did a temporary installation yesterday as an experiment. Yeah. Um, I topped up your transmission fluid because it was a little bit low. Yeah. And I talked about yesterday how their muffler is falling apart. The hangers on the rear muffler were actually both broken off, so I built you a new hanger to hold your exhaust system up. Oh. Which kind of gets hopefully some extra life out of it. Thank you. Yep. Which is still way less than we budgeted for for just the catalytic converter. Totally. So I think you're ahead. So if you could tolerate the smell of it, I mean, it's not horrible or anything. I'm not, it's not like I put a dead rat in your car, but, um, <laughs> but the exhaust is noticeably different when you remove the catalytic converter on a car. Yeah. So you just need to decide how much getting rid of that. If it bothers you at all, you need to decide if it's worth $1,500 to get rid of that smell or not. Yeah. Okay. Um, your exhaust manifold is actually missing a bolt. I got a closer look at it because I took your engine cover off so I could see the exhaust manifold from the top. Yeah. And there's actually a bolt missing. Okay. Um, and I would not get into repairing that, honest truth. Okay. If you, if you tried to repair, repair those broken bolts on a 5.4 engine in a van, um, it, it would just be a complete nightmare. You know, there's one bolt broken off. One bolt is loose, I tighten it up. Yeah. But if, you know, if two or three more break off, then the labor to fix that is so expensive, um, you're better off to live with it. Wow. So that's my thoughts on it. Another mechanic might say, hey, I love doing 5.4 cylinder heads, 
but that's my thoughts on it. <laughs> I would do the tune up next. Yes. Uh, make sure your transmission is okay because I really do feel like the overdrive is kind of working a little funny. Okay. And uh, but we'll talk about that. And you're back on the road. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. You're very welcome. Bye, Flossie. Bye. You know it's really autumn when you had the coffee mugs out last night and then you wake up in the morning and that's all you can see. Hi everybody. So I am at my friend's house here by the ocean and she has just finished building a house and there's a whole lot of this beautiful cedar rough cut cedar tongue and groove left over and I'm gonna take a piece for the shelf that's going up here above my window and I really want to store all of these beautiful pumpkins and squash and other knickknacks above there um, I think it's gonna be really pretty and right now everything is like this beautiful fall flavor these oranges Yay, more storage, and also, yay for the smell of cedar. It's gonna be freaking awesome. The board is too wide, so I've just put lines where I'm gonna cut it. And now we go cut the board to make it the right width so that it doesn't block too much. Nobody's gonna whack their heads on it, and the light hopefully will still shine past it. Oh, they so cute. This is my beautiful hardware that I'm gonna put under the use to hold up the shelf. And these are just like old school pirate ship. It's gonna be awesome. From that beautiful sunset last night to a damp, very crisp morning this morning. Right, let's cut up this board. There we go. Beautiful. That one's gonna go there. This beautiful one is going to go there. I wish I could have got two of these, but they only had one left. I'm going to go on the wall. Yay! Right. Should we see if it, Should we see if it fits? Let's see if it fits. For anyone, I need a haircut, okay? If I play with my hair, it's because I need a haircut. And it gets in my face, so I'm always trying to get it out of my face. People find it interesting to comment on the weirdest things. Okay, I really think I need to level. See? Shelf. Looks pretty. Crash bang, sorry. The shelf is screwed in this beautiful cedar board and then I have some beautiful fresh pumpkins on here oh yes 
So much, yes. But that won't stay up there when I'm driving. This board, I think, will fit nicely along the edge, potentially. But I might use golden screws to put that up. Look, the shelf has got a little lip on it now. Can you see the deer? I don't think she realized I was here. We snuck up on each other. So cute! I just came out here to talk on YouTube and tell you a few stories and eat my lunch. And I'm joined here by a couple of deer. Hi friends. You blend in really well. I'm gonna have to put little arrows on the screen to show you where you are. They're so chill. Literally this is like, Five meters away. Hi YouTube. Thought I'd come out here and eat lunch and talk to you a little bit. where I've been, where I'm going to, I think is a very simple interpretation. Look, it's the mail I'm sending to my Patreons with love. And this is a five of cups, which feels like exactly how I've felt with my working situation up until recently. And I hope that this is the future and look at the two deer, you know what? This is ironic, I just saw two deer in the forest just before. Oh, they're so cute. just finished adding a ton more hooks for my little bits and pieces so they're not hanging around and I put the fire on which is awesome so it's gonna be toasty woman here I love having the fire on and then leaving the doors and windows open so that it's both warm and ventilated at the same time it's awesome a whole bunch of little wood off cuts like this very hot in there now, so I'm gonna roast some some butternut squash. I've been meaning to talk about what I do for work for a long time. And of course, most of you know that I am now doing YouTube and I have a Patreon, so that constitutes a little of my income. But as a van lifer, somebody who is semi-nomadic, how does that work? And how do, I, how do I survive? How do I make an income? And I've not really talked about it up until now because I have been struggling with my work situation and having a bit of a rough time. I thought I would tell you a little bit about what I do. So I have been, over this summer, I have been doing various animal care jobs. I've been looking after horses, dogs, and now I'm sitting on the porch of this tiny house where I am cat sitting. And I love doing pet, pet care, but it's not one of the highest paid jobs. Sometimes you get paid in food. Um, I often do other film jobs and photography work. 
for other clients which might involve me flying somewhere and doing some photo shoots which is awesome fun and then I make and edit the videos or photos afterwards. Oh, good. Two minute safety video and then we're good to go. Okay. Time to dry some of my paprika that I grew. Pretty proud of these. Tie up plants to dry. Flowers or leaves or bits and pieces. I'm currently boiling some water so that I can wash my dishes. Very much looking forward to having my propane system soon in progress being worked on as we speak. Look at that! Isn't that really cute? Oh, I love it. Pepper string. All right, let's hang it up. Oh, that looks so cute! That's gonna dry awesomely. And when it's dry, I can grind it up and I'll have my own paprika. Actually, no, maybe it's spearmint. Wow, it smells amazing! <laughs> it's so good. Mm. Flowers into a tea jar, too. Only the roses are really edible, but there's a number of them in this bunch. We have a number of different colored roses. They're all beautiful and dry, so I'm going to take the flower threads and petals and put them in here. So I can make a rose tea, you know. They're all crispy crispy!
They're just beautiful. YouTube career really I have been working online um, I work in the online learning space building and creating learning materials but it also means my YouTube stuff always has to be done after work hours or on the weekends or squeezed in um, when there's a public holiday or some time off but it's not always easy. I'm effectively working three jobs. And I think this summer has been really challenging with my injury, which is still all taped up. My injury and burnout and some other instability. If you have a counselor, I highly commend you because sometimes I wonder like how on earth is life possible without somebody to be there to support you mentally and emotionally that just brings me back to we think we're so secure if we have a job and yet everything in the world is uncertain and everything in the world is essentially changeable and subject subject to disruption at any point we can only do so much to ground ourselves, to prepare for the future, to take care of ourselves. And anything could un destabilize those things. And I've had like July and August, June, July and August has been a lot of destabilization behind the scenes. I have been focusing so hard on making my lifestyle sustainable making sure that my van becomes my house, that I could be anywhere if I needed to, but I can't yet. I can't yet. I have these grand goals and dreams of being able to find a piece of property out in the middle of nowhere and starting a little like off-grid homestead. And it all seems so far away and so unattainable. You look at interest rates going up, you look at the price of gas going up, you look at the stupid prices. And then I think, how is anyone supposed to survive? How is anyone supposed to follow this path? doesn't even fully capture it because all the golden tones. <sighs> morning! Good morning everybody. Um, I had a friend come to stay for the first time in my van in the little spare bed I made. Uh, we met up in Euclid when I went out to go see Stephen and go camping and go to the hot springs. And we were on the same hot springs tour and then they've come to visit me and I was like, you can come and stay the night, but it's a small little bed. <laughs> Ta -da! <laughs> How are you? How was your sleep? Good. The bed is unbelievably comfy. It's just a little, just, a little tight. Just a uh, I don't know if I can even show. 
No, Jay on the camera. It's nice to have a second bed. It's so nice. <laughs> I do need to make that mattress a little shorter so there's a bit more space between my bed and that because that bed is on top of the wheel well so there's a limited amount of space but <gasps> look at that glorious morning <laughs> orange again mm, pretty Such a gorgeous morning. There's my little spare bed space that my friend was staying in. The mattress is 10 inches thick, so I plan to cut it down from there to like there so there's more space here. But she had a wonderful sleep, that was great. And now I am making. I had a bit of a breakdown this week. It always flabbergasts me how employees are seen as disposable by corporations. This next year is going to be so different. I'm so thankful that I have YouTube to supplement my financial situation. I'm so grateful for my Patreons and I hope to give back to you as much as you give to me and share that love and appreciation I have so much hope and so much optimism most of the time it is really hard when that optimism and hope gets worn down and you just feel overwhelmed <laughs> I thought it was important to do this video because I know I put about content doing all of these fun things and going off to all of these fun places but I'm squeezing it in amongst a very, very full life. I'm often working my absolute butt off. And the time off and adventures that I do go on are literally what's keeping me sane. I hope you enjoy this with me. Take a break with me. Enjoy leaving reality hot behind for a hot second. For all of those new to the channel, this is where Octohat lives. They don't look much when they're hibernating on my wall, but let me show you when I put it on. I am becoming one with the Kraken. This is Octohat. Octo set hat says, go with the flow. And also, when I went through a massive breakup last year, I crocheted and knitted this hat myself. Isn't it amazing? And it has been a fun emotional support project and something that I put on when I feel sad or down and it cheers me up. And it cheers other people up when I wear it. Because who wouldn't when you're an octopus? remember Punky. Punky is the little cat who's been hanging out with me the whole time I've been building the step van. And now look, her project management is paying off and she's enjoying my bed. What a cutie! Look at these paws. Look at these little paws. Mm, sacred belly pet pads.
just going through my website orders. A bunch of you ordered stickers when I did the premiere for my uh, short film. So we have stickers here. And I've got all my envelopes. And I'm about to address them all and get them all sent out to you. Octo Hat is helping. This guy. He's keeping a close eye on the proceedings. If any of you are into crochet and would love the pattern to this Octo Hat, I will put a link card and in the description the link to the uh, pattern. You can purchase it on Etsy, it's like 10 bucks. And you can make your own Octo Hat and I would love to see your Octo Hats too. This was a really cool thing to make. I really enjoyed crocheting it over winter and I'm very tempted to try and make another one this winter. Thanks so much for your support. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit the thumbs up button so I know that you're here with me. Subscribe because I have a lot more exciting adventures to come. And Patreons, I love you. Your mail is coming soon. I found it. Look at that water. Kingfisher. Sure.